everyone, it's me Brooke. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me makeup look sort of video. Um, I have a vanilla pumpkin candle burning right now. Um, it smells good. It is the DW Home brand. I've never heard of it, but I got it for my birthday from my sister. Um, and it smells good and tis the season sort of because it's still fall but it's like sort of winter now um especially because where i live we had a little bit of snow recently um nothing crazy though but it's still like you know there has been flurries so i'm like it's honestly winter at this point so i'm just gonna warn you guys that throughout this video i might um breathe heavily and also like i sound nasally because i have a cold and allergies so it's not my day. Um, I don't feel the best in terms of my sinuses, um, as you can hear. Um, let's just get started. I'm gonna tell you guys the products and then we'll get into the look. And it's not gonna be a lot of makeup because I just don't feel like doing that and I'm literally doing this so I can go out to the dollar store and I wasn't even thinking of doing makeup today but I like showered, I'm like all clean and fresh and I'm like I kind of want to do makeup like I want to feel just like put together so the first product um, well not the first product that I'm gonna be using but one of the products that I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal um, true match Lumi bronze it powder and it's bronzer but it also gives a shine to your skin like a glow um, I sound horrible and like I literally feel like I'm having a hard time breathing so sorry but I still wanted to make a video and I feel like I've been falling off recently, especially with my makeup videos. So I'm trying to get back into it when I have the time and I have the time, so why not? Then I'm also going to use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, an eyelash curler, but I don't know if I'm going to use mascara today. The e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi Stick in the shade Glimmering Guava. The e.l.f. Brow Lift Gel. The L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation Powder in the shade 130 True Beige. If I use a lip product, it's probably going to be the LA Girl Lip Oil in the shade, where's the shade? Shimmer Coconut, um, because it's a mix between lip balm and lip oil, I mean, lip balm and lip gloss. Um, that's just how it feels, and it's not sticky, it's very moisturizing, and it's a pretty color, and it goes with any makeup look pretty much so and I'm pretty sure that is about it I might use a tiny bit of the elf camo concealer um, before the powder so I think I'm going to do that but just a little bit so let me just start off with the power grip primer I don't know if you guys saw that but that was crazy just make sure every time before you do your makeup unless you absolutely can't for whatever reason um, make sure your face is washed and moisturized because if your face isn't washed and if you have like oily skin or even if you have dry skin, um, without washing your face beforehand, you're putting makeup on, you know, not on a clean face and that's not good because that can cause acne, it can cause irritation, it can cause a lot of things, um, you know, just build up and also it's really bad if not only do you not wash your face before, but if you didn't take off all your makeup from the night before. So I just did primer and now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour <coughs> camo concealer in the shade medium peach. I like never use concealer anymore I feel like because I've just been using the um, infallible powder and it's foundation like it's powder foundation so it gives a lot of coverage or the coverage that I like I mean to me it's like really good coverage um, especially because I don't do makeup every day because um, a lot of the time like I'm going to school and I don't have the time to do it and I don't want to do it um, but yeah so I just feel like the foundation powder stuff um, gives really nice coverage and you don't even need to worry about using you know a liquid foundation or a liquid concealer so i will tell you guys a little bit of like a life update there's not much that's been going on but the stuff that has been going on has to do with school pretty much um so yesterday uh last night actually 
um, for video production, me and other kids had to um, record an elementary school play and it actually wasn't long at all so it was actually nice because some plays whether they're for young kids or older kids it's just like too long and we get bored and tired really easily um same thing if like a sports game is too long like a football game it's just very tiring so thankfully it wasn't a long play and it was actually kind of cute and it was um a dr seuss sort of like it was a dr seuss musical play that they were doing and um yeah, they actually looked really good in the costumes and it was cute. Um, and yeah, I directed it, so that was also pretty cool. And I did a good job. This is kind of like a light shade for me. Um, I mean, it looks like it matches and it does, but it's light. Like I could have gotten a little bit of a darker shade maybe. Um, but then I use the bronzer, so it kind of evens out. So now I'm just applying this to my face. But anyway, as I was saying, um, I directed the play, musical, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, and it wasn't too bad. And um, we were able to get out of there pretty quickly afterwards because we all worked on, you know, putting the equipment away and stuff. So it was a team effort. I just got my eyebrows done not too long ago. And they look pretty good. Um, I, it was my first time getting them like professionally done. I guess you could say professionally. I don't know why I did that, but you know, um, it is technically like professionally done because usually I just like pluck um, the hairs and stuff myself, but I got it professionally, uh, you know, waxed and then a little bit threaded, but it was mainly waxed and it really hurt and i see you know why people don't like to get their eyebrows done and stuff and like other things done um because it hurts a lot i mean it doesn't last that long but it hurts a lot so um i'm glad i don't have to get them done all the time and you know for maybe the next month or two i can kind of do it myself but then after that i should get them done again so all right, so the next thing I'm going to do is actually blush. I was gonna do bronzer, but I'm gonna do blush. Um, I feel like I put too much sometimes and I probably did just put too much. So what I usually do is I just do this, but then if I feel like I put too much, I dye it down a little bit, if that makes any sense, with um, the foundation stuff. But we'll see if I have to. But I probably do. I don't know. Honestly, I don't really need to dye it down. I could a little bit. But it looks nice on camera. I'm just gonna do it like a tiny bit. I'm just gonna go over it very lightly. There we go. So it looks kind of matte now, um, but the shimmer still peeks through a little bit, especially in person. Now I'm going to go in with the bronzer. Alright, so I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. This is usually like the last step or like the second to last step.
Alright, so my brows look pretty good. They're not like entirely even, um, but I'd say they're pretty even. I mean, either way they look good, whether they're like even or not, to be honest. Look at all the little spoolie marks in the gel. <laughs> it's so weird. And I also just want to curl my eyebrows. I mean, my eyelashes. Even though I'm not using mascara. Just to make them look a little better. And then I will use the lip oil and then of course don't forget to use setting spray um because it's important especially if you're going out um you know to school to work to you know shop uh you want your makeup to stay and not like get uneven and weird looking throughout the day so setting spray is important i feel like it's almost more important than primer sometimes um but i feel like they're both just as important um and i recommend this setting spray but especially the um elf primer power grip primer that i use because it's tacky which means that the makeup is definitely going to stick to the primer which means it'll stay on your face Alright, and that concludes the end of this video. It's like a no makeup makeup look. I think that's maybe what I'll call this video. You guys know first, obviously, because you see the title. Um, but this is like a clean girl, like no makeup. Like, that term is everywhere now, that clean girl makeup look. I, I guess this is it, you know? Like, I didn't really try to like go for that. Um, but like it is, I guess. Um, and it's like a no makeup makeup look. Sorry again about how I sound and like my breathing. Um, it's really annoying. It's really annoying that I feel this way, that I sound this way, um, but at least I look good. So uh, well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace out.